Peter Smythe. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Smythe. I'm a real estate agent and an auctioneer, and I'm absolutely delighted to be giving an interview on behalf of Highlands TV. Before we go into the detail, Aussie, where's the money that you promised me for doing this interview? <laughs> <laughs> Not that everything works on money, because I know Highlands TV, when it, when it first went out into the community, I know that you were a, um, one of the, probably a, a knight of the late night food trade. Weren't you? Yep. Local hero. Yeah, ambassador of commerce, kebab shop owner, grabbed a movie camera, a couple of Motley crew and went out and changed people's lives. I think Highlands TV changed this community, Oz, because when you came out, the birth rate plummeted. People had, <laughs> it's true, people had something to do. People were engaged. It brought this community closer. There's 22 villages in the Southern Highlands and it's like one global village since you pushed the record button. Uh, I can remember my first interview. I, so It was dark, I was I alone you know, at the time and I was reasonably pissed. Um, ladies and gentlemen, live on Highlands TV we have Smythe. Hello mate, how are you? Well mate, it's nice to see you in your real clothes. <laughs> Yeah, mate. I often I often run into Smythe at four o'clock in the morning. That's right. <laughs> now listen, what brings you out here tonight to the Grand Hotel? I did. Well, I heard there was a really hot uh, new TV station appearing in town. Was well, there any truth in that rumor? You've got that one right. You've got that one right. And you're not here for the uh, DJ? I am a hundred percent. That's right. Yeah, it's all pumping in there. It's all pumping, and it's any excuse really to um, you know let what hair we have left, both of us, uh, down. That's right. To enjoy the process, mate. Uh, Tell me, is uh, Aussie Fickery involved in this event? Aussie Fickery is the uh, creator, director, producer, slash so you're the star. Man. Well, I'm the anchor man at this morning, so I've just got to learn to hold the camera and then he can get out in front of the camera. But uh, yeah, it won't uh, be long and he'll be hogging the uh, fluffy bits. You know that, Larry, exactly. Uh, yeah. Do you know, Peter, that, that our first story was that night? Was that night? I can remember. Mark, the. What's his name? Nice Mark, your camera guy, interviewer. You, you actually, I'll be honest, I can remember as clearly as anything, you sacrificed the anchorman position in favour of Mark. You actually were the back room operator. You ran the camera and you let Mark take what little limelight there was, but you were so, so selfless about it, Aussie. That's what really struck me. People that don't want to know where where we've been editing. Like we're like now we're in a nice studio in the middle of town. But where where did it all begin, Peter? Mate, it all began in H Block uh, because. Being Turkish, there's 365 of you that live in that one house, I think, isn't there? Five generations. Five generations, plus a few neighbours. There's, there's more. That house was as full as a Catholic school hat rack, but yet you made room to edit on behalf of the community, Oz, and for that you need to be applauded. Well, they were always nine o'clock at night because you were working, I was working, and this was the infancy of Highlands TV. This is where the great ideas come from. They come from demand. And you created that demand. And you did it after hours until it was such a vehicle that it could hold its own. Now it can hold its own. I still think your prices are very good, incidentally. Not that I'm plugging for you, mate, but anything. <laughs> it's fantastic. And, you know, to, to go up a set of dark stairs to change history, it, it's, a, it's a moment I'll never forget. <laughs> uh, and, what, and what about when you kept the ethos of Highlands TV right from the start when you were asked you needed money at that stage too but you never ever sacrificed the soul of Highlands TV when they said we would love you to you know be that guy that shoots the fatalities and the sieges and you said listen mate I'm a lifestyle maker not an ambulance chaser remember that that was fantastic. And you know, what you've done for the area Oz, is unbelievable. Even the rougher suburbs. Like I've been to suburbs where you've brought people off the street and engaged them in what's going on in the community. I've been to places where the rock wheelers used to walk around in pairs. And then you got there and all of a sudden everything melted mate. I think it's the, it's the glue for the community Oz.